Republican Ryan Zinke is the new representative for Montana's first congressional district, but a familiar face. He was the Interior Secretary under President Trump and served as Montana's at-large House member for two years before that. He told C-SPAN about his time as a Navy SEAL, his previous public service, and whether he really counted as a freshman member. Well, in some aspects I am, and I, I attended the freshman orientation. A lot of it was I wanted to meet the new members. It's important to realize that half the new members have never been in the majority before in the Republican caucus. So getting to know new members is good. Now, I maintain my seniority so for committees, and that's why appropriations. Uh, I think Congress can do two things uh, during the 118th Congress. We can investigate. And as long as the investigations are transparent and not fishing expeditions, you know, I think shedding light uh, on, on some of the allegations I think is important for the American people. But the big power is the power of the purse. Uh, I came from, you know, Montana and I pledged, look, we're going to curb spending because inflation is killing everybody. It's a, it robs everyone. And sometimes we don't see it as much, but we're feeling it. So we need to curb spending. And appropriations, you can look at, at things in areas and reprioritize. So I'm excited about the 118th Congress. Uh, it's, it's good to be back in, on the front line. And people ask me, why would you ever run? I said, in my lifetime, I spent most of my adult life fighting for this country as, as a Navy SEAL. And I think our country's in trouble. And it is. And we all feel it. So at the moment, our country's in trouble uh, for me not to go back to the front line. Uh, I'm, I'm here and I, I'm an optimist. So I think we can fix it. Remind our viewers when you last, last served in these halls. Well, I, my history was I came in in 14 and, and did a, a, a term uh, as Montana's single at-large uh, congressman. And then I was uh, in the Trump administration as Secretary of Interior. And then I took a lovely hiatus, uh, spent time with the family, uh, repairing all the fences that were, were down. And, uh, and now I'm, I'm back. What will you bring to the table as a member of a president's cabinet? Well, a little different perspective on the powers of an administration. And also, there is a deep state. Uh, and the deep state is entrenched bureaucracy. And we need to do things better, more efficient. And I give an example. I'm pro-defense. And people ask, well, what about the debt ceiling? Well, the debt ceiling, let's get a plan. Well, it's reckless to spend money we don't have without a plan. On defense, okay, is, can defense be cut? Well, there's 800,000 DOD employees in Department of Defense. And, and quickly we're becoming a healthcare system you know, and a pension system that makes a little bit of ammunition. You know, we gotta look at ways to not cut necessarily, but, but provide more equipment to the front line. And an example is the F-35. It took 17 years for the F-35 to be from concept to fielding. There isn't a cell phone in the viewers that's 17 years old. China's reproducing, you know, much, much faster rate. Technology is changing. And so must, must we change, we need to change also to make sure that our equipment is on the front line faster, more efficient, because the world we face is different than it, what, it, what it was just a few years ago. Will you do anything different this time around in Congress? Well, uh, you know, it seemed like in interior was always, you know, some issue of the day. Uh, this is the, a legislative process, and a legislative process is getting 218 votes on the Republican side and working uh, with members. And my philosophy has always been, you know, it's like rowing a boat. Now, the, a boat has two oars. Now, I will admit I'm the right oar, and I'm proud to be the right oar, but I do recognize there is a left oar. And if you just use the right oar, the boat goes in circles. And a lot of what we're seeing in our country is we're going in circles, but we're not addressing the big problems. We're not addressing border, excessive spending. We're not the foreign threats we face. Uh, and these are serious issues, but in order to navigate, you've got to use both oars a little. And so what I bring to the table, hopefully, is a sense that as a Navy SEAL, I never cared whether someone was a Democrat or Republican, but I did care whether you love the country. And as long as people love the country, I'm willing to work with anybody. Have you reached out to your fellow Navy SEALs who are also, who are freshmen this 118th Congress? And what have you talked about? Well, I was chairman of SEAL PAC, so we were involved in recruiting and supporting the young SEALs. And I think the SEALs bring an interesting view 
Uh, they're combat warriors. They understand what sacrifice is. There's also a couple Green Berets uh, in, in the mix. And again, I think that what they bring is America, red, white, and blue. Because none of us ever asked whether this person Republican or Democrat when we fought for this country. And that's not as important to us as it is. Do you love your country and, and do you want to serve? So I think it brings a lot of service and recognition of sacrifice uh, to the halls and an important veteran perspective. When you have a challenging day or a challenging issue, do you ever think back on your time as, as a Navy SEAL? And if so, is there one incident in your career in the military that you recall often? Well, SEALs are well-trained, as you know. Mostly it's never to quit. Uh, and I, I think I bring that to the table as well, is that I don't quit, uh, nor should we, because the stakes are too high. Uh, America's in trouble in a lot of ways, but there's no problem that I've seen that, that can't be fixed. Uh, America is a great nation, and if we work together, we can fix those, those problems, and we need to think big again. You know, sometimes incremental change, we need to think big, because America's always thought big. So, I'm excited to be here. Congressman, you mentioned the Republicans being in the majority, it's been a while, and also the investigations that the Republicans are planning to do with control of the House. You expressed concern about fishing expeditions. Where does that concern come from, and is it related to the T you, is your time as Interior Secretary? Well, I, I was harassed a lot, and I went through numerous investigations, all concluding the same thing. No laws broke, no regulations broke, and they were harassment. And, and, we, and we should investigate those things that are important. Constitution, or, or, or overreach of the federal government, wrongdoing where, it's, where the allegations are serious and clear. There's also a process uh, to go, go through it, and I'm hoping the administration will work with us because I think the American people deserve to know what's, what's going on in their government. Um, but if you don't know, then Congress is not a body to go on fishing expeditions uh, for harassment purposes. I, I think the, when the allegations are set, we need to be transparent in the process. I think the, le the leadership understands that, and, and that's what I'm seeing is develop as we go forward on that. Uh, you know, uh, Jim Jordan is, 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 has a following. He's a tough guy. I think his wrestling, I think it was 123 to 1, so I would not bet against uh, Jim Jordan in investigations. But he, but, it, but he seems to be fair and there's a process. And I think those of us in the, in the House, you know, respect the process.